Hi everybody, I am Tanerlan Musayev and I would like to tell you some story. As it seems to me, it is quite interesting story and what is most important, it's true. So now I'm going to ride my bicycle and... So, 24 years ago, in 1993, I, trying to avoid imprisonment for not joining the army to participate in Karabakh war, hijacked a plane from Russia to Sweden and applied for the asylum. The Swedish government rejected my application because they were afraid of other refugees to come to their country the same way. They decided to extradite me to Russia. In summer 1993, there was the Supreme Court of Law in Stockholm, where the main issue was if there was any risk of Russia sentencing me to a more severe punishment than Sweden. According to the panel court, if there is such a risk, then the extradition is prohibited. The Attorney General of Sweden claimed that following the statistics, the penalty for hijacking in Russia was less than five year long imprisonment, almost the same as in Sweden. I predicted the longer imprisonment in my case for my human rights activity. I noticed that in case I would be right and my penalty would finally be more severe than Sweden predicted, then it was Sweden who would be responsible for compensating me the harm. On the 17th of June, 1993, my wife, my daughter and I were put in a plane and brought to St. Petersburg. If the Russian court had sentenced me to a minor penalty, as the attorney in Sweden assured me, I would have had no complaints to Sweden. But in Russia, they gave me 12 years of imprisonment. I used to write applications to the embassy of Sweden in Russia, to the government, but none of them responded. Only in 2013, I managed to leave Russia for Stockholm in regard of the triumph of justice. I applied to the immigration service for a lawyer, but they refused. All I wanted was to admit that the extradition of 1993 was mistaken because it results in disproportionate punishment. Wishing to hide their own mistake, the Swedish government kicked me out of the country. I was banned from entering for 10 years. Then I said that I would go to jail in protest. And I started making false reports about the bomb at the airport. I was imprisoned twice. My third and fourth false report was ignored by authorities. I don't want to disturb passengers, but I am forced to do it to attract attention. I am fighting for justice. That's it. Thank you for watching. Till we meet again in future.